Here's a very simple experiment with an empty Tic Tac box that you find just about anywhere at all, and I think probably in any country throughout the world as well. They're very popular mints. And we also have a coin, a small coin, but it's what it does that's interesting. We take the box, and as you can see, it's completely empty. And now we take the coin, and just by touching the box, it goes right into the empty Tic Tac container and that can be examined very closely by any audience member. Now here's the secret. It is just a normal tic-tac box without any tic-tacs at all. And you have two coins exactly the same. And make sure that the coins are as thin as you can possibly find. We don't want a thick coin for this because we're going to hide that coin underneath the front label. The way you do that is you turn the box upside down and just tap that a little bit and it should just slide in between the wall of the box and that white cap on the top. So you can see it in there. It's jammed in between the cap and the side of the box. If it doesn't slide in I can show you how to fix that a little bit later on. But you can turn it on all different angles but do watch your angles because you don't want anyone to see that there is a coin behind that front label there. But you can turn it just about any other way and show them that it's an empty box, supposedly. Now the coin, I'll show you what to do with the coin. The uh, box you hold like this with a thumb on one side and a finger on the other and you're going to squeeze those two together uh, when the time comes and uh, that will release the coin. With your finger you slide the coin towards the edge of the table, pretend to take it but let it drop in your lap, and then you touch the box with your finger. There's nothing there at all of course, but it looks like you're holding a coin. And when you hold the box, don't hold it by the white lid, but down a little bit like that. And then when you touch the box, you squeeze at the same time, so it's touch and squeeze and the coin will just drop to the bottom of the box. And at that stage it's all done so you can just hand that out to the audience and they won't know how it was done. Now if the gap isn't big enough this is what you can do because sometimes you can put the coin in and try to get the coin in the gap but the gap isn't big enough and it just won't go in. So here's what you can do. You can take, I'll get that coin out first of all. You can take a pair of scissors and just with one of the blades slice through that seal at the top, both sides, front and back, and then you can open it up and just prise that white cap out from the box. Here it comes. And a little bit more. Pull that right out and just squeeze those two sides together a few times like this with your finger and thumb and that will open up the gap and the coin will go in a lot easier so we can put that back put the coin in close the lid and now it'll go in very very easily just by sliding it up like that it'll just go into the gap and it'll stay there until you're ready to squeeze with your finger and thumb So, you pretend to take the coin, push it through, squeeze at the same time and it just drops down to the bottom. Hand it out for inspection, the secret is quite safe.